What's up guys, it is Injured X here, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So in this video, I will be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to win every 1v1 in Pixel Gun 3D. So uh, before I start this video, I do want to say that I really, really do recommend that you guys pay attention to everything that I say in this video because every piece of information is going to help you win every 1v1 or almost every 1v1 in Pixel Gun 3D. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the reason why I am in pool party while making this video is because in pool party, that is where most 1v1s will happen considering both players have a level playing field to play on and it is a fairly small map for 1v1s, so that makes it really, really perfect. And one thing to really note about pool party, since this is where you'll be doing most of your 1v1s, probably, other than Nuclear City, is the spawn points. This is where you die and... No, well, this is where you respawn after you die, obviously. And it's important to know all of them because if you know all of them, then you know how to mix it up a bit because the main thing and the main mistake that people make when they're having a 1v1 is they always come out wherever they spawn. And if you do this, your opponent will quickly be able to read up on your behaviors and where you're gonna go next, and it'll, they'll just be able to kill you faster. So these are all the spawn points in Pool Party. That being said, the main thing to take away from here is that whenever you respawn in Pixel Gun 3D, don't always come out wherever you respawn. Because like I said previously, your opponent will quickly be able to read up on your movements gradually as you're playing. So if you spawn and you come out wherever you spawn, they'll probably already know where you are and they'll just kill you instantly. But if you were to say you spawn um, inside of the pool area and then you come go run around to the other side and come out, your opponent won't know where you are and you'll be able to throw them off guard and kill them possibly. Okay, so the next thing you need to consider when you're in a 1v1 is your movement methods. Basically, your movement methods are the way, of course, you're, you move, whether it's side to side, left to right, or whatever, whenever you are fighting, actually fighting your opponent. So if you guys know, I mean, of course, all of you know this, when you're in a 1v1, you're, all of the attention is centered on use, likewise with your opponent. So when you guys are shooting at each other, you don't want to be standing still, you want to try to dodge all the attacks, You as, well, as many as you can, should I say. You want to try to move around you want to make yourself a hard target so that while you can kill your opponent it'll make it really really hard for them to kill you and these are the most common movement methods when you're in a 1v1 the quick shifter the mix-up and lastly the rocket jump evasion Okay, so in my opinion, out of all these three movement methods, the best option for you would be the mix-up. And the reason being because with the quick shifter, you are moving very, very fast, but you aren't covering much ground, which means that while you're moving pretty quickly from side to side, you are staying in one place, which means that all your opponent has to do is spam maybe their sniper weapon, say a laser crossbow or a prototype S, and you will be dead. And as opposed to the rocket jumping evasion, I believe that you do cover a lot of distance, however you move very, very slow. And what the rocket jumping does, it, it does allow you to move pretty, cover, move pretty swiftly, but when I say slow, I mean you are in the air for pretty long periods of time. And when you're in the air for that long, someone who is really, really good with the sniper can easily just knock you right out of the air. So in my opinion, the mix-up is the best option because you aren't really too predictable and you give your opponent something to fight at. Okay, so the last thing to really consider that I'm going to mention in this video when having a 1v1 so that you can potentially win is your recovery method, meaning how you get back on top of the stage after you have been killed. 
And I just really do just want to stress this one because it is very, very important that you aren't repetitive. However, you also don't want to be predictable. So these are the three most common recovery methods. The vertical rocket jump, the safe area, and lastly, the diagonal rocket jump. Okay, so in my opinion, out of all these three, none of them are the best. I believe that you should mix up between all three of them, depending on either who you're facing or the order you've been going in. For example, if you do the diagonal rocket jump two times in a row, you may try going for the safe area the third time. Or likewise, if you go for the safe area two times, you might try going for the diagonal rocket jump. The whole point is to get some variety so that your opponent does not catch on to your movements. Because the moment the, your opponent thinks that they know your movements, that's when you've already lost the 1v1. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. So hopefully these few tips help. If you guys want me to make a part two, I will. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.